Welcome! In this video, uh, or rather video series, you are going to learn how you can use Flat for f building uh, Flutter applications in Python. So what we are going to see in this video is uh, basically how you can install it, how you can use it, and see some small examples. And then we are going to walk through in the next videos about how you can use flat. So first what I did was to create a virtual environment and then I will install flat and once flat is installed I can open up my favorite text editor which is Visual Studio Code and let's create the hello world dot py. So now if we want we can create our first application by importing flat and from flat we will import page and we will define our main function and it will take a page of page type as argument and here we would add our functionality but now we just want to see how we can run it because this should qualify for a simple application so now what we can do is to use python to run the hello world.py and after the page loads we should be able to see something like this. So this can either be a console application or a web browser based application. But in both cases, uh, if you use the web browser based application, it will use your browser's capabilities to render the application. And if you use the console approach, it will spin up a small web server. To render the application so if we change it and go to the basically the port equals 8550 mm -hmm. and rerun it uh, it will change the port on which the application is working and uh, we should be able to run it on in a browser so we could say that we use the flat browser python approach and We would like to use the view equals flat dot web browser. And if you run it once again, you can check your browser. And this is where the application will run. And uh, we can do many different things here in the flat, flat uh, application. So let's create uh, a little bit more complicated example. So here in the main function, what we would like to do is to define our first name, which is going to be a reference text field. And in order for this to work, we need to import the column, the elevated button, the text, and the text field. And we need to import from flat.ref the RAF. All right, we can remove this from the main function and we can create a last name and the greetings and this should be the last name 
and we would like to use a column and after that we can define a button click and our greetings that current that controls that append we would like to use a text hello and we will say the first name that value and the last name that value and uh, we would like to make this an f string as a whole and it's not called test but text and the first name that current that value should be empty and the last name current value should also be empty and the page that update should be called and we would also like to use the first name current focus and we would like to use the page that add and we say that we will have a text field the reference is the first name and the label is going to be first name and the autofocus is true and we will also add the text field reference equals last name and the label is last name and we will also add the elevated button and we will say hello and the on click will use the button click function and the column will have the reference to the greetings and now if we go ahead and run it we should see the following so in the browser we will have the Daniel and the Sabo and if you go to the say hello button clicks zero positional arguments but one was given hold on I think I'm missing an E and if I go ahead and restart it we should have the Daniel and the Sabo and we should be able to say hello so ref has no arguments oh there is a typo and let's go back so we have the first name that value and the last name that current that value and we are almost there so <coughs> Tanya Sabo say hello and there we go so this is how you can get started with flutter or flat in Python